This section here is our porcelain enamel section. Um, I actually found these porcelain panels, individual panels at a flea market. I saw a big, I saw a big box of these and I go, hey, that'd be really cool if I could spell porcelain enamel with porcelain enamel panels. So I got the P, I got the O, I found an R, I found a C, and as I got closer and closer, I was hoping that I would find enough of the letters to be able to, be able to spell porcelain enamel, and indeed I was, as you can see. Um, th this section here, these are what we call salesman samples. Just like you go to a paint store and you get um, little cards with different shades of blue, for example, at a paint store, the, the salesman would have these color samples. For example, let me pull one off here. They would have these all on a chain and they would, when you were choosing the colors for your sign, they would kind of fan these out and you could um, pick the colors that you wanted for your sign. Now, porcelain enamel was um, a, a very high-end way to decorate a sign, mostly from the 30s through the 60s. By the early, by the late 60s, early 70s, the process had got too expensive. So there's not a lot of porcelain enamel sign companies anymore. In fact, there's really only two, one in the Northwest, um, the other in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, but there's five different porcelain enamel companies uh, represented here from that, what I would call the heyday of porcelain enamel, the 30s through the 60s. Pretty obviously, this is actually a sign for a porcelain enamel company. This one is pretty interesting to me. It's a neon beer sign, but what they did is they wrapped the transformer, which is usually hanging above a neon beer sign or behind it rather unsightly. They wrapped it with porcelain enamel, which did two things. It covered up the unsightly transform transformer Number two, it provided more opportunity for, for some promotional copy about Rupert Beer and Ale. The bottom one, obviously an ice cream sign, this came out of St. Louis. Uh, it would be really hard to make neon as small to spell dairy company. So what they did is they inserted a porcelain enamel panel inside the neon beer sign. I think that's very, um, an excellent uh, use of porcelain enamel here. So these are some unusual applications of porcelain enamel. Um, we have some other um, uh, signs for porcelain enamel companies. Hopico, Houston Porcelain Enamel Company, with a, a very important company in Texas. And then we have, have, a, have another um, uh, porcelain enamel panel from a sign company, which, which is, uh, remains unknown, the exact name of the sign company. 